So me and my grandfather has been out fishing. We got a bunch of flatfish here. So we figured we could show you how you uh, kill it, gut it and uh, fillet it. So we have just brought out a very blunt object here. My grandfather is going to show you uh, with this, uh, this, he's using the shaft of the knife essentially to hit uh, the flounder right behind the eyes here. We want to use a lot of uh, force here to just uh, go ahead and kill it off. And now the fish is dead. dead. Um, we have um, brought out uh, grandfather's filleting knife here. This one is a little bit soft, uh, mm -hmm. flexible, uh -huh. very sharp. That is the most important part. Uh, I'm going to add a link in case you need to get one of these. And now we're going to bleed the fish. So grandfather likes to go in right behind the first fin. And just slide the knife in there. The goal here is to cut the gills and bleed the fish. You can see it's already starting to bleed here. And um, yeah, let me just get a bucket here. And yeah, we usually don't uh, gut this, uh, take out the guts because it's as easy to fillet them afterwards, whether they have the guts or not. So just get the bucket here. And we're going to let this fish uh, lay here in the ice cold water for let's say a minute or so. All right, so it's been a minute or so here. And the fish is now nice and bled out. Uh, if you don't do this, you will find that you get a lot more um, red meat. It doesn't taste as good and it's also going to go bad faster. Uh, so the next part here is that we want to fillet the fish. Uh, grandfather likes to not take the head off so that he has something to hold on to as we fillet it. Uh, most of the meat in flounders go along the top here. We're not going to use anything other than the fillets because there is so much bones. So we're going to take a boneless fillet here. You can see he, he's using a very, very um, fine angle at this. Don't use a sharp angle when you're going down flounders. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to cut into the bones and uh, end up with a lot of bones in your fillet. And all the way down to the bottom. And once we lift it up here now, you can see here, uh, we don't get any bones from the rib cage on the flounders when we do it like this. Uh, it's very clean, nice fillet here. It's very thin though, it probably doesn't surprise many. <laughs> and here we go. Beautiful fillet, ready to go on the grill. Grandfather likes to take off the edges of the around the rib cage here. This, you can put it on the grill or prepare it uh, for eating like this. Um, there is some skin on it. If we can pick it up with his no. gloves, as you can see. We can show you how to take that off as well, but let's do that with the other fillet. Uh, we're just halfway yet. And uh, next is to turn the flounder around here. And you can see here on the back side, there also is a nice fillet. It is the same as this one. So you can see he goes in behind the front fin, slides down along the bones, and it is the same process. You can see he has a very uh, flat angle as he does this to avoid cutting into the bones. And there we go. Two fillets. And you can see it also has this, um, this dark, uh, I guess it's skin. Yeah. Along the, where the rib cage and guts lay. There are two beautiful fillets. And we're just going to discard of this. Probably use it for the crab pots that we're about to set. We figured we'd show you how to take off the skin as well, since we're already doing this. So you can see he places his finger down along the edge here. Um, you want to hold on to this. You can also use pliers if you're uh, not as strong. And pretty much the same angle here. You want to go down all along the bottom of the skin here uh, without slicing through the skin. And there we have beautiful, beautiful flatfish fillets. Mm. And now you can go to chicken and uh, I have a good meat. Put it on the pan. Uh, a little time. Yeah, just so no, thin. So thin. Mm. So yes, we are going to go eat well today, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you so much to grandfather for showing us here in the video. We're going to go set some pots uh, for crabs now. Also remember, I'm going to add a link to a knife uh, if you don't have a good one always good to have a nice sharp knife when you're filleting fish so right. see you next time yeah